Hi, it's Dana, and I really, really would like to be done with the first placement journal. It's been quite a journey. I guess we can call it a journey. But um, I would like to be done with it. I keep saying I'm going to finish it, and I got a little creative block, and I stopped. So we stopped at the third signature last time, just inside a little bit, probably, let's see, where were we at? We were right here. And I said, this page was ugly and I didn't know what to do with it. And I was getting flustered with it. So I kind of decided to go a different direction because these are craft paper. And this graph paper is actually very, very thin. It really needs more. It needs a whole layer added to it. And I kind of thought about tearing it out even because it was frustrating me so much. But I like how this page turned out. I like the tear away that we made. So I do want to work on fixing this. This kind of was, this envelope was a project that got way off. And I went ahead and stuck some little cards in it that I made to fit for journaling cards and then stopped right there. So it's, it, it didn't, nothing turned out the way I wanted it to on these last few pages. I don't want to just poop out at the end. So I did make some ephemera on my last video from a seed packet. So I thought we would start with maybe considering popping this in on one of these pages. But I do feel like it needs some stamping or something. The problem is this paper is so thin it bleeds through to the to the back. So my dilemma is this, what do I do? Well, I think the, uh, the best option for me at this point is to cover this paper with another paper and I'm even considering some Mod Podge. So I do have a napkin that would go with this project. I'm going to get it out right now. I probably should have done that before I started the video. But I'm going to get it out and we'll have a look. See, actually, oh, I have two that would go with this project. So I have some florals in a black and white that might look okay. And then I have this, this little travel themed napkin. So I actually kind of like this floral a little better, but it's not actually going to reach top to bottom. But I do think it'll add some stability to the page. I also thought about some clear gesso. Clear gesso would do the same exact thing. It would add some, some stability to the page. Did I say stability? Stability, stability. So let's take a layer of this off. I'm going to get a little piece of tape. I love the tape method for separating these layers because I very often tear them in the process of trying to get my top layer free. So I believe, I don't think there's any more layers to this, but I'm gonna check on the corner here. Oh, there is. So this is a three layer napkin. And of course I would have trashed it trying to get it apart any other way without that tape. That is, that is the handiest method. And we kind of have some ghosting on this. You can't see it real clear. But I do think what I'm going to do is maybe, you know what, maybe we should just make our own napkin and stamp on it. That way we could basically stamp it and it not go through the paper. We could stamp on the napkin first. I say we. There's a whole bunch of people. Okay, you know what? I think that's a good idea. I think what I'll do is I'm going to stick with the whole orange and yellow. Maybe do some, maybe we'll do some sepia and some plum. I don't have yellow ink. Uh, we'll get black out just in case. So. You know what else I could do? I could stencil to you, but 
Let's take a look at these flourish stamps and just see if we can get something maybe. Um, I kind of like this, this script. So you know what? Let's start. Let's start with this. This is an old tried and true favorite of mine. I'm going to put something under here in case this starts to bleed through. So I did tear that napkin on the side a little bit, but we'll start over here. Okay. So this is kind of an old tried and true stamp. It isn't really legible. It's very kind of sloppy, icky. That may not be the right word for it. It's just, it's random-ish. Is that a word? It's making stuff up now. It's not very dark. But, huh, that's not bad. Hmm. All right, well, I did some of the plum. I'm going to add some sepia onto it. I guess apparently this napkin's not going to show up a whole lot better than tissue paper. I have a hard time. I know a lot of people like to stamp on tissue paper. I have a hard time with tissue paper. I've found that I, I don't have a lot of success that it does bleed, but you know what? I'm trying to stay awake. I worked last night and so I came home and I made some coffee and I'm trying to stay awake for a minute. really like that. So here we go. So I stamped in plum and I stamped in sepia. So now try to get a little black on here too. Let's do a little bit more. I'm going to kind of go off of this edge because I think I'm going to tear it a little. Oh, yeah. I like that. It actually looks, if you don't press on it, if you just lay it on there, it kind of looks like two separate strips. The black, for some reason, is coming out a little bit finer. Strangely. Is that weird? I don't know why. I don't know why that would be, but hey, who am I to question? I'm just, I'm just standing. Oh, I got it sideways. Well, I guess that's okay to you accidentally. Okay, so let's see what this looks like on the white background. That doesn't look bad. So I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to put this down. I'm going to add a little bit more of this plum because I really do like it. I'm going to just turn it the other way. Get some of it. Well, hi, Jenny. <laughs> right on. I was just watching your video. I just got done. It's a small world. It's a small little YouTube world we live in, isn't it? Oh, that's wrong. I'm doing black. You know what? I guess I I swear I don't pay any attention to stuff. 
So, and I finally watched the How to Make Empanadas, and I've been craving empanadas ever since. And I went to the store this morning with the intention of buying those little paste, little round pastry things because I know exactly where they're at. I've seen them before. And you know what? I forgot. I forgot because I was sleepy after work. I go, I, I go to the store more than normal people just to go get like one more thing here, one more thing there. And because I am so forgetful. And then you know what? I'm back at the store the next day just get one more thing. But you know what? We live very close to the store, so it's not a big deal. And I think sometimes my brain just, when my brain gets on overload, it just starts tossing stuff. It's like, well, no, there's not room for that. I got to throw that away. <laughs> really? I can't wait to try. What kind of oil do you like to use? Do you like to use a particular oil or does it matter? Just whatever frying oil you have. Exactly. I got more brain farts than most people. I think Night Shift does that. I really do, though, because I didn't used to be like that. But for some reason on night shift, it's like my brain goes, oh, nope. After a certain time, we're off the clock. We're not. Mazola, because of your roommate. Is that corn oil? I don't know what that is, but I am. Um... We have several, but I don't know what we've got in there right now as far as frying goes. I don't know. I'm a shortening girl, so. I don't know why. We just tend to put, we got to put shortening in everything. We, Look, I don't put it in the bag. Is that lazy? Look at this. I actually stick the sticker on this plastic backing and then lay it over it so I can slide stuff in and out of the bag. I don't actually put it in the bag. <laughs> That's lazy. I know, but it's super easy and quick, so I'm into that. I'm into easy and quick. Okay. I'm actually going to use my new Liquitex jar because it's nice and clean. Oh, and I stuck my finger in it. Good. Good job, Dana. Okay. Well, here we go. We're not going to waste it. We're going we're gonna to use it. I'm going to try to stick this napkin down here on this page without getting it all over. Look at how messy. I'm so messy. I guess I need a bigger, much bigger brush here, but let's just pop this down. I need something to hold this napkin in place. Without gluing the pages closed. Oh, that's not good. Going crooked on me. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well. I guess that's the thing about napkins is they start to get kind of stretched out when you pull too much on them, I don't think. You know what, I'm a, I am, I'm gonna get a bigger brush. Let's get this big one, here we go. Here we go, that's more like it, isn't it? I'm just gonna like cover this whole page. This, um, oh, and the graph paper is showing through. I guess that's okay. Where's my stamp paper? I'm going to get it back out here and put it under this page. 
Apparently, I just use those my mail, my junk mail for everything, don't I? I like your little rosettes. I've seen that paper, too. Well, that's one way to edge it off, isn't it? I guess we'll just, we'll just tear off what we don't use. Right? That settles the dilemma of how I trim the edges off. Sometimes problems solve themselves, don't they? When you, your brush is too rough. Let's just pull that off. There's a lump there. Okay, well, let's see if we messed up the other side. Ah, no, not too badly. Dang, Dana. My BPD. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up sticking mine in a drawer. I put all my dyes in a drawer finally. I like the plastic envelopes, so I can't afford a bunch of them. Um, so, you know what? I just, I started piling them on both sides of those magnets. That's probably too much water. Look, I got a bunch of water on here now. These papers, I'm kind of sorry I put this in this journal. This paper is so thin I will never use it again. And to give it some strength, I put some washi tape on the edge of it, but it's kind of, it's mediocre looking at best. So I kind of feel like, kind of feel a little stuck with this page to tell you the truth. I think that's why I've been putting this journal aside, not finishing it, because I'm almost done. There's only like four pages. Well... One, two, three, four, five. There's literally five pages left to decorate, and I just can't. I'm, like, stuck. Because this was turning out kind of on, like, on the ugly side. I had made this little, like, flag banner thing and put this fabric on it and this flower, and I still didn't like it. And I was like, what do I do? I'm going to take that off. So I made this ephemera last night and I thought, well, maybe I'll stick some of that in there because it kind of matches the colors with all the orange and reds and stuff. So I thought, well, maybe I'll stick that in there. So I do think maybe we could just glue this over here. I kind of want to pull this out because I don't like it. I guess that, that works for me. And we can keep, I should have took these out first, as opposed to let them start to get bent up. Um, I can keep those. I don't know, I might be able to do something with this. I still like this paper. I just don't like the fact that I edged it in the orange. I think that turned out kind of yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it, so, so we're going to just cut it off. I'm just going to cut the orange off. I'm going to set that over but closer to the fan. I hate to cut my stamps off because I put those, I guess I can just put more stamps on it. I guess I could glue that to that. I'm just gonna completely restructure it. Use a script of strip of scrap a script. That's strip of scraps. Just say script from now on and I'll know what you mean. I just blend words together, don't I, when I'm tired? You know why? Because my eyes are moving faster than my mouth. 
<laughs> so I'm just making up words now. Just strip it. I like this too. Let's see. Can we get this off here? Let's use this somewhere. Boy, that art glitter glue is no joke. That stuff is good stuff. When you glue that down, you're, it's down, boy. It's on for the duration. Oh, yeah, that's not going to come on. Well, we can cut it. We'll cut it. The bottom might come off, kind of. Yeah, that's fine. Uh oh. I could probably do that a little more ginger than I am, but. What are you doing up so early? I think everybody's in bed still. Oh no, I guess it's not early, is it? It's 9 30. I forget that I've been sitting here messing around for half an hour. Oh, we're in the same time zone, aren't we? kind of like that. I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to keep that too, but just not for this, probably not for this particular page. But, yeah. I'll keep that and do something with that, maybe. I'm like keeping the trash, aren't I? Are you? Is that because you're packing them lunches? You have to do a Colombian coffee thing on your cooking one day so I can taste this coffee. I think you may have at one time, and it's it's probably been a while. Because I know you're always talking about it, and I'm a coffee person. My friend Sue is too. She swears her birthstone is a coffee bean. Sue Hubbard. She's so funny. She cracks me up, literally. But yeah, you should do it again because I cannot remember if if I saw you do it or not. But you're always talking about how good that coffee is and how good it smells. And I'm always like, I want to know what's in that cup. I got to make me some different coffee and try it. I haven't met too many coffees I don't like. Unless it's one of the McDonald's. I love McDonald's black coffee, but those mocha frappe whatever chino things that thing is like drinking sugar well hi kim good morning you were born with coffee in your baby bottle <laughs> i gotta tell sue that she probably she's probably gonna steal that but if sue does she swears her her first stone is a coffee bean that's what she puts on the back of her um memdex cars <laughs> well not too long, uh, long enough to make a mess of this page and rip the center envelope out that was ugly, that I didn't like, the one that had this clip on it. And now I have cut it apart, and I'm going to, we are restructuring right now as we speak. So we're going to figure out something else to do with this page over here. I just don't know what yet. I think I'm going to tear the edges of this. Do a little staining. What do you think of this crazy nail polish? I was doing my nails earlier because I was watching Jenny's video. And, you know, you got to sit still when your polish is drying. Boy, this polish took forever to dry, I think, because it's old. But my nails were stained because I took that black off and my nails are stained, stained. And so this is wet and wild, but it's so old, it's kind of getting thick. So it's probably, that's probably why it took so long to dry. But um, I tried to paint them with this frosty white I had that's real pretty. And it came out, my nails were gray. And I was like, oh, Lord, I better take them. So I only did like two nails. 
but it was okay because like I said, I was watching videos this morning and the only one I had not caught up on yet was Jenny's and I didn't even see hers in my list until this morning. So I thought, well, let me watch this video while I paint my nails and get myself all caught up. So that's what I did. And now I'm caught up, I think. I think. Just when I say that, I'll go to the list and see another video I missed. I don't know how I keep missing stuff. I don't think my notifica my notifications are turned on, but I don't think they it does it correctly. Because sometimes it'll pop up and say somebody's live, and then sometimes I'll see an email later where it emails me, but it didn't no notify me, notify me. But you know, I have the phone. I have the phone that Jesus carried. Okay, dog. He's demanding. He come over here and stared at me and barked. Like, didn't even give me a chance to open the door. Kim, Jenny, I assume that you guys have heard me say my craft room is actually in our garage, which we were going to turn into a family room at one time, but we never did. So there's still a garage door on it and a garage door opener. So sometimes I get up and let the dog in and out when the weather is bad, if it's too hot or too cold. But right now, I think it's still not hot. It's supposed to be 91 today. I wish it would cool off. You do. <laughs> I know. I noticed that that the the um this last one and you were like and you know what I mean. <laughs> I started laughing. She said, I love you from my bot the bo not my you know I can't believe I didn't figure that out, though. I must just be slow. I'm just slow. I'm slow to the... Slow to the... Um, grasp of things sometimes. All right. So, which one should I put on top? Let's go. I'm doing it. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to stamp the back of this and make it into something. That's a plan. <laughs> something. I'm going to make it into something. I don't know what. Just going to make that just off the. Let's put some lines on it. In case somebody wants to ride on this bad boy. Hey, they're almost even that time. And I didn't even plan it. All right. So I think I'm going to glue this to this. And maybe, maybe leave these strings out. So I'll do it like this. Oh, you are so pitiful. Can you hear my dog? He's like, oh, I want back out. Why? He, well, he just wants, he likes the door open is what it is. He just wants to run in and out. It's too dark. Really? Yeah, let me. Is this better? But then it glares like right here. I guess I could put this paper right there. Is that better? You're on the stupid phone, not the smartphone? Walk on, walk on. My Fozzie Bear laugh. I stole it from my girlfriend at work. All right, so now we're just gluing random stuff together because because I don't know because I don't know why. Apparently, that's what I do when I'm sleepy. I just glue stuff together. 
Should we glue that on the page? We could actually glue it right on the edge of the page and let those strings out. But then I just wasted all those stamp lines on the back. Oh, my glue's not quite dry. Okay. I just don't like it over here. Should we just put this down? Just put this down here. Yeah. Let's do that because there's nothing on the back of this. Let's just glue this whole big fiasco down. I clearly just am winging it here, aren't I? You know what? If this ends up ugly, I'm going to be mad if I have to rip another page out. Cut that binding and re-sew that whole mess. And then I'm going to blame it on the dog. I was so distracted. My dog kept barking and he wouldn't shut up. So I'm putting it almost down to the center so that when I close the book, it won't bend up. Because you know when you get close to that center, sometimes stuff will curl up. So I'll do a better job of that later. Okay, so that was a big waste of time. I could have just glued that on and stamped a little stuff around it but I was trying to make it thicker and feel more substantial because this is so thin all right now we got to do something over here let's just make a collage this time should we just make a collage and stuff let's just do it let's just do it let's make a collage this I ripped off the envelope that I didn't like. And it's not that I didn't like this particular piece of paper because I like it, the color. I just didn't like that particular envelope in that particular place. So we'll start with this. Then we'll add... Oh, it's upside down. And let's add this. Nobody's writing on those lines today. Or tomorrow or the next day. Oh, hi, Carrie Martin. Denise isn't here to make fun of me for calling you by your first and last name, is she? I'm going to put a little Mod Podge on this magazine picture, and I'll tell you why. Not that anybody asked, but in case, just in case anybody's wondering, um, it takes the shine off, and it makes it look the same, like, texture as the paper. If you, um, if you put a little bit of this Liquitex on it, matte gel, that's exactly what it does. It makes it matte. So I'm just going to blot it a little bit just to get those brush strokes off because I don't like the shine on this. So I'm going to do it over here so that all the paper looks the same. If not, you can see little lumpy, lumpy parts and bits, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And then see, you just pat it, and after you pat it, and then look, see, no shine. Can you see that? And this stuff dries super fast, but that looks like scrapbook paper. You know how scrapbook paper comes with no shine a lot of times? Unless it's like foil or whatever. You can, and then nobody will know that's that's um, 
a magazine picture. Now it looks like a regular piece of paper. Get that cool. Plus it keeps that thread from unraveling where I sewed it so poorly. Did you guys hear my sewing machine? You know, I was clicking on stuff last night, looking at videos and my video came up and I was showing my friend what at work, this ephemera I made. And when I go to the sewing machine, it sounds like a tiny machine gun. What? Like, because it's so old, it's like <laughs> my, my, my 1940s sewing machine. So, right. So I don't, <laughs> when I'm making these videos, I don't always, I can't always look up and read all the comments. So I started looking at you guys' conversation and Gary said, somebody said, yeah, somebody said AK-47 and then somebody else said, I don't remember what Carrie said. I was laughing. I was like, oh my gosh, it sounds like a really bad moped. It sounds like a really old, like, I don't know. I know it's loud though. Like it's louder than any sewing machine ever. But, oh, I'm brilliant. Oh, my God. Brilliant? Oh, do go on. I'm going to give you exactly six months to stop that. See, look. No shine. Can you see that? No shine, no shine. So that's my little tip of the day. Again, this stuff is not cheap either, this matte gel, but it is good for so many things. It's so much better than Mod Podge, I believe, unless you want the shine. Is that, I think that, was that you? Kim that said AK-40, she just randomly commented in the middle, in the middle of the video, it said AK-47. And I was looking down, looking at the comments, but I didn't have the volume turned up and I turned up the volume. I realized she was talking about my sewing machine. <laughs> I said, oh my God, it does. It sounds like a little tiny machine gun back there. I thought, oh, gee, that's crazy. Hi, Sue. Good morning. I was just talking to Jenny about you. I was telling her that you said, we were talking about her Colombian coffee. I said, I need her. She's going to do another video on how to make this coffee. And it just sounds, she's always like, oh, my coffee. Oh, and she's like, you can tell it's really good coffee. And she's like, oh, you, and then people will comment. They'll be like, oh, I can smell it from here. And so I was telling her that you said your, your birthstone on your Memdex car that your birthstone is a coffee bean. This drives to look. This is already, can you hear this? Let me put it by the speaker. I don't know where the speaker is, but it's literally, it, it dried that fast. That little coat of, um, here, I'll show you with the napkin. Can you see? It's all dry. Ain't that amazing? Cafecito, cafecito, whatever it is, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to figure it out so that I can get me some and drink some. And We're making a collage on this page because this, um, this paper is terrible. And I tried to stamp a napkin and Mod Podge it over here. I just made this big, huge mess, and now it's wrinkled in the back of this. So now I'm going to have to put a little something, something back here by my paper, by my tearaway. But... Over here, we're making some fun stuff in here. There's something tucked in here. Is that dry? See how fast that dries? Oh, I love it. So we're going to tuck these in here because I already stamped lines on the back of these. These cute little rows. Let's turn this so you can see the print. Oh, no, that's the same as that. I'll we'll just turn it so you can see the rows. All right. And then I like these little polka dots because they're all through like all the yellow and stuff. And then let's see what do we got up here. We got carrots. I put this in the journal, but I don't know if anybody would care at all. Get it? Uh, carrot all. 
carrot. Oh, oh my gosh. I wish I had that picture. I have a funny carrot picture that I would show you, and I don't know where it's at. Let's put another rose. I don't know if I like this rose because it's got the um, purple in the background. Let's put this rose on. Rose by any other name. All right, we're not going to do sepia because the orange. We're going to do coffee because, you know, I'm, I'm very particular about these colors. And that orange with that orange is going to translate poorly. Besides, this rose is coral, and we have to do coffee ink with a coral rose. Or it makes my eye twitch. Just saying. Okay. Let's grunge it up a bit. Oh, we got this card that I accidentally tore. So we'll just go for that. We'll do a little more on that. Let's make some stuff with this trash. Oh, we could use that. Here, let's scrunch that up. Oh, we could use that with that. Oh, that's perfect. Yay! I got an idea. Oh my goodness. I might just be delirious. If I wake up tomorrow and hate this, I'm going to be mad at all y'all for not telling me that I have lost my mind. So just tell me now. If I have lost my mind, I want to know. Right freaking now. All right. That's kind of a funky shape. Let's put that over the tear because I accidentally got a little tear here. Hang on, let me age this mess up. Let's grunge up this pretty craft paper and make it look dirty. That's why I like this coffee. You know, that sepia, you can tell that it's sepia. But this, this just looks like when you blotch it on, it just looks like some old greasy, dirty kind of, you know, like you just got some fingerprints or something on it. It just looks old, don't it? With the coffee ink compared to the sepia ink, which I don't love. I do use it when the situation calls for it. Here's my YooHoo, which Denise still thinks is a chocolate drink they make in a can. I'm going to send her a stick so that she knows the glorious of a good quick drying glue stick such as you. All right, let's add a little something something else to this mess. I kind of just want to tear that off. Just use this hand. Kind of dark, darker, darkish. Does that look upside down? I don't know. It's crooked. Does that go? I'm just sticking it on there because you know what? Because it might just go in the trash. 
because it was already trash. I already pulled it off. I already pulled the envelope out. So, like, we can't really hurt this stuff anymore. We tear it up and we grunge it up and we glue it and re glue it. You went Sunday to a different store and I had it. Well, Kim, here's the here's the problem with this page. Anything you put on it bleeds through, and I didn't realize when I sewed it in. So, you know what I could do? I could stamp some lines here. I could, oh, you know what I could do? I know. We could, we could glue down this and leave this as a journaling spot. Let's do that. Because you know what? I really feel like this page is so thin, I wish I hadn't put it in. That's a lot of you. I'm gonna smear that back and forth a little bit so that it's not lumpy. All right. I'm gonna get this where I want it before this UV dries. All right, so we'll put this down here. All right, and we'll leave a little, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I gotta have something up here. Let's find a, oh, let's just do one of these can company flowers because I can't, I just can't seem to. Alone. Yeah, that's good. It's a good one. It's a one of those stiffer, thick ones too. Like not the flimsier one. I don't know though. I kind of like these red ones too. I could do it like that. I like that one. I like that one already has glitter in it. Oh, that's pretty too. I like that. Yellows. I wanted more yellow, so there we go. Now we're cooking with a wool. All right. So that's going to be just how I cover this up because. Unfortunately, I don't want to keep pulling pages out of the journal just because they're so thin. So I'm gonna, I am going to use my art glitter glue. So glue this down. But first, I'm going to kind of smear it around with this little paintbrush so it's not all lumpy. To be all right. So that's going to give this page some stability. Right. And then we'll put some kind of flip or something on the back, maybe. It's a stride. Yeah. So I still need to do something there. But, um, we're gonna have to put something on the back. So maybe like a big flip out or maybe one of those burritos. I should do a burrito. Let me find my coffee stain paper. Can't get one piece out. Eight has to come along. So this has got a little red ink on it too. It bled through because I dyed it with pink paper. 
So I'm going to do some sort of a side flip thing here. So I'll try and cover up like the majority of the page. And then I'm going to score it right there. So I hate to get my big scoreboard out, but I guess I could do it on this little one. No, I can't. Well, I guess I could. It's so hard to score this paper because it's, um, well, and it's right in between a line there. It's hard to score this paper because the it's so, um, it won't lay flat. It's so crinkly. It's kind of feel like I should probably just go ahead and fold it and burnish it with my little tool thing. Uh, I'm so glad to be off work tonight. I came home to drink coffee and stay awake and make stuff. And here I am. So let's put some kind of pretty edge on here. Let me see what I got. I got, oh, I like these. So I'm just going to cut some of this off. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, out there. So, I love those little tubs of Michael scissors, decorative scissors, because I don't want to have to put something through my die every time. And the scissors, you can make as long as you want. The die will only cut a little bit. And if you don't line it up exactly and you put it back through the die, it's not going to come out straight. And it may, the paper may shift. So I love these little decorative scissors. I think they're so cool. And I got like 18,000 pairs. And then you can use that on something too. We'll put that over there. Okay. 18,000 is probably a slight exaggeration. But I have a lot. I have a bunch. I have a whole bunch. Okay. Let's get our yoo for the edge of it, of this. I'm going to need something to really do good to get right off the edges of this. And then we'll put some, um, we'll put some, um, art glitter glue kind of all over to really keep it. On in general, generally speaking. And now we've basically covered up the page so we didn't have to rip it out. So this is what we've got. We've got a page in a page. This decorative edge. Which is kind of pretty, actually. The white against the off-white. Oh, I'm sorry. Sue's speaking in caps now. She's yelling at me. She's out and burritos to that page. I have a pair. I love them. Yes, that would be fun. Dana, Dana. Carrie, add us, please. I haven't even tried making one. What do I do with them? LOL. Either than have them on my desk. Well, let's do that, Carrie. Hello. Hi, Lizzie. <laughs> I didn't see you come in. I'm so bad at looking at the comments. And you know what I do? I watch my videos later. I go back sometimes just to read the comments. And I get so tickled. You guys are cutting up and mostly making fun of me, which is okay. Like, cause I'm like, I know I'm an easy target because you know what? I do the 
stupidest stuff. And I, I even cracked myself up. You know, I called my pedal, my sewing pedal on the machine, my gas pedal twice yesterday. Because I was like, when I push the gas pedal, it goes so fast. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, right. Um, that's why Denise calls me Rain Man. She's always like, hey, but she calls me boss or Rain Man. But yeah, that's why. And I said it goes my because my pedal, you know, the I, what do you even call that? I don't even know, but it makes the sewing machine go on foot pedal thing and. So I said, when I press my gas pedal too down too far, it goes too fast. And if I don't press it, then it just starts to hum. It doesn't actually sew. It just goes, mm. And so I was not realizing and that when it, it just takes off, it just starts sewing so fast. And then I can't control it and everything gets all crooked. And I'm like, dang it. So yeah, that's what happens when I sew. Mm-hmm. Yes, sticker. You're a mess. I am a mess. It's fine. I'm a pretty happy mess. That's why I call my Instagram Dana's making a mess again. I'm going to change my name to Bessie so people could call me Messy Bessie. I'm just going to put this on the other side because it matches and I hate to throw it away because it's got that pretty edge on it too. So let's just stick it here. Shall we? Why not? Why shouldn't we? Speaking of Denise, I wonder where she's at. It's really early at Denise's though. It's like what is it, 10 o'clock here? So it's like 7 in the morning there. Oh, we'll see if it's five hours left. That was the funniest thing ever because you had said your sewing machine sounded like a BB gun. I know, it says. It was like, it's it's crazy. It sounds, what it actually sounds like is, um, um, Oh, I can't think of what it's called now. See what happens when I get this tired. You know, they just let anybody get on here and make videos, right? You don't have to have any kind of skills or talent or brains at all. They just let people like me run wild and make videos. I get on here and mumble around and, yeah. And document things that my ancestors will be embarrassed for centuries to come. Okay, so that did kind of seep through, didn't it? I like it. I like all this mess in here. Let's take this out for now so it's not so bulky. So we'll do something with that, and we'll do something with this, and then we're going to call it about done, because we're going to be about done after that. Done, done. So I kind of want something on this card. Do you want something? Don't you think we should put something on this card to kind of connect it with the other page? I always try to do that. I always try to connect it with something. So I kind of feel like we need a rose on this side. And I have this little rose stamp I was using yesterday. It's one of those stamp and die sets. I kind of feel like I should put a rose over here or down here. Or maybe both. Like turn it upside down and then right side up. I thought about stamping lines, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to. So I'm just too lazy for all that, okay? Because it's late and I'm tired. And... 
I love stupid phone. <laughs> That's what I told somebody about my cigarettes one time. Actually, I don't want to tell that joke. That's not, I'm not going to tell that joke because it's off color. And hopefully my granddaughter will be watching my videos very soon. So I have to, um, I have to keep it clean now. Clean it up. So I just flip this over the other way and I'm putting one rose right side up and one upside down. So hopefully it'll kind of look like two different stamps or the same stamp turned upside down. Yeah. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> That's what it looks like, right? Okay. Right. Journaling is a novel concept in a journal. I know, you know, I, and that's the thing, you know, I write more in my journal. And so I, but I do glue stuff in too. Like my crazy vegetable lady, I drew her in my journal. You guys know what her name is? Who knows what her name is? Betsy. Oh, <laughs> Kim. Messy Betsy. No. <laughs> the crazy vegetable lady's not messy. Sorry about the noise, guys. I got this little fan down here. I sat on this thing and it's rattling because the little rubber feet move around. They like vibrate over on the little stand. Oh, it came off. It came off the bed. The foot came off completely. Great. Now I'm going to have to crawl under my desk and find a foot. For heaven's sakes. And then I left the little threads hanging off down here. Somehow I was able to salvage them. And that one, the other one must be glued underneath. Her name's Dana. Okay. I have to work on something else today. Why? Are you sick of this journal? Like I do. I want to be done with it. I really do. And every video, you know, I have to keep changing the title because it says, I always write on the title when I start my live, you know, you got to give it a title. I always put finishing my um, paper, uh, my finishing my placement journal and I never finish it. Oh no, girl. I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't steal her makeup. I simply was borrowing it so I would look as pretty as she did because she was gorgeous. She wore more makeup than any drag queen I've ever seen in my life. And she left her makeup out. And I was like, hello, I was like 10. And you know what? She duct taped me and put me in the closet. And that's how I know firsthand that human saliva dissolves the adhesive on duct tape. And let me tell you what, my friend duct taped her refrigerator door closed when they were moving. And when she pulled it off, she tried everything to get that goop off. Right. And I said, look, all you sissy, all you have to do is lick it. I said, spit on that and it'll dissolve that. And she was like, no, you are a liar. And I was like, no, I'm not lying. Just do it. And she did. And I said, just the amylase in your saliva will dissolve that glue. And I reminded her of that story about how when I will not tell your name, Cheryl, about how you tied me up as a kid. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> she did. I locked myself in her car. Yes. Took her car keys. Was putting on her makeup. I was bad, though. First of all, I was a bad kid. But she duct taped my mouth closed and my hands together and locked me in the closet. Yeah. Yes. And I could not wait. I could not wait to narc on her when my parents got home because even when I was that young and that bad, I knew 
what she did to me was much worse than me taking her car keys and locking myself in her car. Yeah. Yeah. And using her makeup. Your quilter told you this, that human saliva would take the adhesive, would take the glue off of Yeah, that's like my best baby story, babysitter story of all time. I'm telling you. Like, I told that story for, you know how when you're a kid, you all have like this claim to fame. Like, oh, I hit a home run or I did like, you know, something. Ever, all the kids love that story. You know, some people never outgrow that, by the way. But some people um, love making other people gasp. They're like, oh. <gasps> Oh my God, they love that reaction. And especially when you're a kid, you really want to, these, you know, you want to tell these the grown ups have all the good stories and the impressive stories of stuff that happened to them. So for me to has, have this gaspable story to tell at like 10, I told anybody who would listen. I thought I was super cool. I was like, yeah, well, you think that's bad? Guess what happened to me? So, you know, when I know you guys have seen this, you have had you like you cannot not see this video of what's his name? Chris Rock doing the where his mom gets mad about a note the teacher sent home and she tells him to tell the teacher to mind her own dang business. Right. But she says a cuss word. And he gets all excited because he can't wait to go to school and curse the teacher out because he got his mom's permission. Have you guys seen this stand up? And he gets on the bus and he tells all the kids like it's about to go down. Like <laughs> that's what... So I remember that feeling as a kid thinking I, when my parents car pulled up in the driveway, I was just like, <laughs> I was like, it's about to go down. I was like, yeah, she's going to be in so much trouble. And then you know what? They did not believe me. They thought I was lying. Paid her and sent her home. Paid her and sent her home. Yeah. They thought I was telling a great big lie because apparently I was not only a bad child, I was a huge liar too <laughs> at that age. So I was telling some stories apparently. I was untrustworthy. And they were like, mm, no, she didn't. Go to bed. I was like, oh. But strangely, the next day, my mom found a roll of duct tape in the closet and the vacuum cleaner was shoved all the way over to the side. And while I was locked in the closet, I had went through all the winter boxes and an entire photo album and taken out all the pictures of myself and turned them over that I didn't like. So that was proof enough for my mom. Thank God there was light in that closet. Because, you know, if it was dark, I'd have been mad with nothing to do in there. So, apparently, my mom the next day finds the roll of duct tape, sees the photo album all messed up, all this crap out of the box, the hats, gloves, scarves. And, yeah, and she was like, yep. Yeah. She's like, yep, yeah, Dana got locked in the closet. I can't believe it. <laughs> I think she probably felt sorry for the babysitter. My babysitter was kind of unsuspecting. She was like, oh, look, this pretty little girl. I'm sure she's sweet. Oh, I was bad, girl. Bad. I was a bad child. I kind of feel like now I owe her an apology because I'm pretty sure I probably got her in trouble because I'm pretty sure my mom went and talked to her mom and was like, mm, she duct taped my child and locked her in the closet. I'm sure her parents were like, oh, what'd she do so bad that you would do that? That's crazy. Why would you do that to a child, a 10-year-old child? Her parents were probably like, no, she deserved it. We heard the story already. We have locked her up too. I don't know, though. I don't know what her parents said. Maybe her. Maybe she was calling her parents like, what do I do with this brat? She took my car keys. She's locked in my car, listening to the radio, running the battery down, putting all my makeup on. I was jamming, too.
She had like some Bob Seger in there. She had Bob Seger and the Silver Silver Bullet Band on A track. Yes, she did, boy. They probably said, you know what? Just lock that little brat in the closet. Just duct tape her up and lock her in the closet and wait for her parents to get home. And just come home. Don't never babysit for her again. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, remarkably, I just came across a picture of me. Here, hang on. I'm going to grab it. I was going through. You guys know I clean up my files. I told you that. Hang on. I'll be right back. I got my little, my little kid done. Okay, I got to go in the house. Hang on. I'm going to take it in the house. I'm so sorry. I didn't forget you. I'm coming. I had to make a pit stop at the ladies' room. I apologize. I've been drinking like 8,000 cups of coffee. Okay. So I grabbed a couple things. This is torn up because it's so old, but this is my first communion book. So when you're in Catholic school, I went to Little Flower, see? And when you're in Catholic school, this is my, it's my first communion picture. This is my first communion book. 
Looks this. I look the same, don't I? Minus the gray hair and the wrinkles. I look exactly the same. And then, um, but I was only six there. And then I think I got a picture here. Let's see a little bit. Here's a high school picture. Here's me and my cousins. I'm on the left in the flower dress. Let me see if I can find a better picture. This is my senior book. And I don't even think I have a picture of every single buddy in here but me. Like every friend, every family member, every every everything I ever went to. Uh-oh, don't look at that. Hold on. Look. Oh, here's my prom. I got my bad haircut. Here's Todd and Sarah blackmail picture. Oh, don't look at oh my god, I gotta quit showing these. Hold on. I should not. I'm gonna have to delete this video before my granddaughter sees the naked people in my senior book. Well, I thought I had a senior picture in here, and apparently, I do not. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I do. Here's one. There's me. That's my senior picture. That is me when I worked at the tuxedo store. I wore a tuxedo to work. But I wore girl pants, not the tuxedo pants. Here's me with my friends when we rented a friend a, a limousine for my friend Tammy's birthday. There's us at the skating rink. Yeah, I wasn't very good at scrapbooking back then. This is my junior prom. Yep. So, there's me. I was bad. I was a bad, I was a bad kid. I don't have a 10-year-old picture for some reason. I mean, I do somewhere, but that's the only... Is that my booty? No, it was not my booty. <laughs> That was, I know, that was, that was, um, let me see who's pretty. This was, um, actually, this was, that's funny because, yeah, this is Steve. This is, this is Steve. And that was, he was cutie, cutie, but I was fickle back then. He drove a fully restored, he restored a car, a, uh, it was a 69 Camaro, and it was super cool, and it was purple. My granddaughter is six now. It does kind of look like Steve from Full House, doesn't it? I know. My granddaughter is going to be watching sooner than I think. Sooner than I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I don't think she'd be interested. Like, she'd be watching the, the unicorn wand videos and stuff. I still need to put something over here. So I think because that's the same stamp, I think this would be fun to glue down here. So let's just do it. Because I want to be done with this. I want to say I'm done with this book because every time I say, let's finish this journal, then I start doing something else on some other journal and I don't get this done. So, I think that I just want to finish this journal. And since there's a lot of orange, let's put the carrots at the top. And then we'll leave this blank so people can post pics, right? Pictures on it. That'll be fun.
I was going to say that for my garden journal, but you know what? We're just going to stick it down in here. Because I can make more. I can make a lot of this stuff. This is like super easy ephemera to make. So, that's all we're going to do there. Make sure that goes down in this little crevice. Because I don't want it to bend up when somebody opens or closes the book. There. And I kind of want, like, I really like to pull the polka dot over, so I kind of need something here. I think I'm just going to do a punch. Like, let me get my box of scraps here. Oh, I got some right on top. Yay! That worked out. That never happens. Let's see. Let's do a flower. Art. Yeah, let's just do what? Let's do the flower. Yeah, let's just do a flower. Just, uh, let me see if I can center some of those dots. Should I make them random or should I try to make it centered? I can't really make it centered, so random it is. Okay. But we can edge this up a little bit with our little coffee skins, coffee ink. This is hard to get in these tiny little crevices, but. I'm going to try a little OCD cell. Mm, that's not going to work, honey, but I'll take that down. Oh, here, you can take this. I'm sorry, that's talking to me. Here. Oh, yeah. No. That's okay. No, that's fine. All right. Let me set this over here. Thank you, honey. Sorry. So after this, we'll be, I think we can call this done. Other than having to put a little reinforced piece of paper under that, where I put that paper tear, that tear flip or whatever. Is this down? Oh, it's not quite down. All right, let's do that. Let's stick it under, kind of. Hi, puppy. What you want? What you want? What you want, a tree? This came to visit me, so I got to get one of these little dog treats out. Hi. Hi. Hi, big dog. Okay, go. Look me. Be getting all up in here, knocking stuff over. Go on. You are, you're making cafecito right now. I think I'm going to get me a refill. I kind of want to sleep so I can do stuff later, but then I kind of want to stay up and finish this. And then I got some stuff to take to the post office. And then, I don't know. That's the thing about working nights. Sometimes you lose a whole day just sleeping, just catching up on your sleep. But I really slept good yesterday with the intention of staying up today. But you know what will happen is around four or five, I'll lose steam. See how that kind of makes it look more cohesive with the pulling that across, don't you think? I have not made her a journal. I have not. My time with her is usually... It has been uh, outside in the pool, in the garden, and giving her piano lessons. 
it, she just likes to really just mostly bang on the keys, but that's okay. I'm just glad she enjoys it and I want her to have fun with it. So later I think she'll be inspired to really learn how to master it. I hope I do. I play, everybody in my um, family was made to learn a musical instrument. It was mandatory. Mm, they didn't care what you played. Um, you, they, you just had to take some sort of music class. Uh, it could be your choice, but if you didn't choose, you were going to take piano lessons. So as kids, we all start out on the piano. Later, we could migrate to other things. I was really... If my electricity goes out, I'm going to get cut off and it is flickering. So in my neighborhood, we have, I live in a neighborhood with where the power lines are still in the air because this, all these houses were built in the 1950s. And sometimes we blow transformers out when it's really hot because everybody's running their air. So just fair warning. If I go bye-bye, you know what happened. Anyway, so you have to play something, but it's cool because when my family gets together, people can jam together, you know. So my oldest son is very good on the guitar. He is exceptionally good uh, guitar player. Very cool. I wish I had um, some video to show you of him. You guys want to see pictures of my kids? I can pull my kids up real quick and show you, show you my boys. My son, my youngest son is funny. He's like my mini me. He looks exactly like, me. like we look exactly alike, right? And, oh, my phone's going dead. Okay, hang on, let me get my tablet. Oh, well, I don't have my tablet here. Okay, well, I'm going to have to show you. My, oh, no, it's not. It's just the little, the light is down. Um. So he's my mini me. He acts exactly like me. He looks like me. Hubby and me used to work from 1 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the morning. Right? Yeah. And then you, that's why I've done that before. If, if I wake up and especially in the winter, if it's six or seven o'clock, you don't know. You don't know if it's morning or evening. You're just like, okay. Excuse me. Ooh. All right. Let me go here. I don't know why this keeps. I don't know why this keeps taking me here. You know, I don't know how to use my own social media, right? So I just. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. But I know I have some photos on my Facebook right here. Here's my uploads. All right, so here's my mom and dad, because you know my dad had his recent, I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me turn this off. This is my mom and dad. When my dad had his aortic aneurysm repaired not too long ago, my mom cute, look at her. She's sitting on her walker holding my dad's hand. My dad's kind of, there's kind of a glare. You can't see him very good. And then here's Thad. Here's Thad in the pool. That's my favorite person on earth. You can't see him very good here. And this, I posted on Facebook that uh, Thad discovered if he lets half of the air out of my raft, it becomes a recliner. And then I put hashtag Tom Brady style. That's when they had deflate gate when they were talking about him letting the air out of the footballs. And then here is my youngest son, Andrew. Okay, so he acts like he's Mr. S Steven Seagal, but he is actually not holding any sort of a gun. Those are water hose nozzles that are attached to nothing, so he can spray no one. Look at the serious look on his face. He's dead serious. Not dangerous at all. Here's me and Thad on St. Patrick's Day. Dang it, you can't see. There we are. Can you see? Oh, there we are. Whoop, whoop. We, were, we went downtown. Let me show you my, my other son, though. Where's my son? Here, you can see. Is that a better picture? That's the same picture, isn't it? You can't see. 
All right, then here is my youngest son with my mom, or my oldest son. He looks just like his dad. Let me see if I can turn this sideways. There's my oldest son. This is Austin. Why can't I? Why won't it go sideways? He looks exactly like his father. My youngest looks like me. Why is that? There we go. Let me zoom in. There they are. That's my son and my dad and my mom. Scroll up. And that was Christmas before last. And then I got a better one of Andrew when he's smiling, I think. He's always acting goofy. I don't know why he's... And he sends me these... Um, he makes his own... Um, I got to show you this because this is like hilarious. He loves to cook and he wanted to go to culinary school and he never went to culinary school. But <clears throat> so his... What do you call that little cartoon character you make of yourself? He sends it to me all the time and of of himself, his um, emoji or whatever. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, he helped me make mine. What are they called? Fitbits? Emoji bits? Little bit cartoon, little bit real? I don't know what they're called, but they're really cute. And his looks exactly like his if, um, little emoji person looks exactly like him right so let me show you his emoji or his a oh, bitmoji bitmoji it's that's what it's called and his looks exactly like him so i love he sends me the he sends me the most ridiculous stuff okay so let me show you this where's he at Oh, here he thinks he's cool. Look, he took his picture in the car. Look at this. Look at this hair. Can you see this hair? Sam? Why is it glaring? I don't know why it's glaring. Let me turn the light down. Let's see. Let me turn the light down. Here. Is that better? Can you see it better? He's sitting in the car. Look at that hair. He's my mini me. But um, and he has gorgeous hair. But let me find his bitmoji. It is so freaking funny. So anything he does, he can find a bitmoji that looks exactly like him and do it. Let me see. Why can't I find one? Like he sends me like 800 a day and now I can't find one. You know why? Cause I'm always, it's always taking up all the space on my phone. So he texts me way too much. There's like, I'm going to stop looking. I'm sorry. Cause you know what? I cannot freaking find him. Well, here's one of them laying down. You can't really see it, though, from here. And he has that same hat. Like, he'll find clothes that he has, and he'll find stuff that he's doing and match it exactly. I don't know how he does it. But one of my favorite ones is I bought him some Dollar Tree cookies, right? And you guys know the ones. Now, these are oatmeal cookies, and they're called iced cookies, but they're like, you will chip a tooth on these cookies if they're open more than a few days in your house, right? And, but my mom buys those. And my kids remember my mom always buying them. And she loves them. But they used to be like, why does she buy these cookies? They're so hard and they're not even like good. And they wanted like the super sweet Oreos, but those cookies aren't, those oatmeal, iced oatmeal cookies at the Dollar Tree they're not that sweet. So they're good to dip in coffee and stuff. Well, I bought him for some reason, I bought him a pack of those oatmeal cookies. And when I brought them, 
when I dropped him off at his apartment, when he first got his new apartment, I bought him some odds and ends things. And I said, oh, I picked up some cookies. And he said, why did you buy these, Mom? These are grandma cookies. We always hated these as a kid. And I said, but they're good. When you get older and you're not like jonesing for sugar every two seconds, they're good. And so um, he did. He tasted them. And later he sent me a video of him. Um, eating the cookies. And he was like, you know what? I'm not going to lie. These are good cookies. I don't even remember them tasting like this. He was like, now I know why grandma used to buy them all the time. But he used to make funnies like grandma and her hard cookies. Well, so he sent me this bitmoji of himself in a glass of milk with cookies around it. And, it, and I laughed and, and I was like, how do you always find a bitmoji that Every time you do something, like if he goes bowling, he sends me a bowling bitmoji. If he, when he fell, he sent me a bitmoji of him in a body cast and it said, I'm okay. And here, you guys want to see my bitmoji? Here's me. You guys see me with my glasses and my gray hair and my bun and my apron on? There's my bitmoji. And then there he is when he puts his hair in a man. <laughs> when he wears his hair down, he'll put his bitmoji hair down. Is that weird? And then when he's got his hand up, his hair up in a ponytail, he'll put his bitmoji hair up. I don't know. Look, here's his, here's his bitmoji close up. Bitmoji up the air. Looks just like him. He's such a weirdo. But when he sent me... He loves reading. So when he goes, he'll be like, let's go to the bookstore. He sent me this. He has a blue recliner in his bedroom and his bedroom was all messy. And I swear he sent me that. Look at this. And he's Mr. He's Mr. Sports and there's a soccer ball. Look, here he is in the cookies. In the glass, he is in a glass of milk with cookies. And then he, like, he'll cook and send me a video of what he's making or tell me what he made for dinner because he was so excited when he got his own kitchen. So there he is. The cooking. <laughs> like, he has a bitmoji for everything he does. Everything. He's so stupid. He's funny, though. Emoticon. It's an emoticon. Yeah. He's such a good flaw. He's funny, though. But once we start laughing, like, once we start cutting up, when he's laughing and I'm laughing, we can't. We, I can't. We can't stop. Because he's just like me. Well, and you know what? That's the thing. My, my Bitmoji, like, I'm as... I'm the biggest body type next to the really big body type. They don't have an in-between body type for like, you know, <clears throat> some women are hourglass shape and some women are, you know, they call you pear or apple, but I'm shaped like Winnie the Pooh. So that's the one I need for my emoticon. And they don't have that. So, you know, when you do, when you take those little surveys in women's magazines and it says, pick your, pick your body type. It says A, hourglass, B, pear, C, um, apple, and D, skinny or athletic or whatever. Never, ever have I seen a choice that says Winnie the Pooh. Why is that? <laughs> I could be the flying bee. If I'm standing with my feet far enough apart. Um, yeah, you know what? Like, I just got that belly. I got that Winnie the Pooh belly going on. 
Winnie the Pooh is not a bad shape to be. I mean, you know, there's worse things. I'm not shaped like an orangutan. That's worse. Talk about a butt sticking out all the time. More to cuddle, right? Warm in the winter, shade in the summer. So this did crinkle up. So, it, but I think we're done. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will put something over that. So you want to flip through the finished journal. I think it's time. I think it's time we call this finished and be done with it because I'm getting sick of it. You know, that's funny because people are like, oh, you work that hard on something. Don't you hate to give it away? No, no, you don't. Because eventually you get tired. And you're like, let's be done with this and let someone enjoy it. Someone that will be happy, happy to get it. All right, so let's turn these lights back on now that I'm done playing with my silly phone. All right, here we go. Let's put this stamp aside. I'm going to clean everything up, but I don't want it to be like a huge cluster on my desk either. This is my closure for now. Because I don't know what else to do with that. All right. It's there. Put my scissors up. I go up. Get the stamp out of the way. Okay. And I'm putting the dog treats up. And the dog's staring at me now. And said, what? No. Oh, my gosh. I touched the dog. <laughs> the dog came out. All right. Go away. Go away. Get out of here. You're not supposed to be back here. Go on. Go. Go play. All right. So here we go. Here's page one. Little butterfly, applique, rose, stuff. Here's the card. This cute little card that Lisa from Made New to Create gave me. I put these little punches. I put Wink Estella on everything so it has that glimmer to it. Love me some Wink Estella. Um, stamped this, but it bled through, so I stamped the other side. Um, little piece of the same paper here with Wink Estella. I just turned it the pattern sideways, added a couple little jimmies. Stamp, stamp, lined paper punch, made a tag with a button, some lace, some fabric, some just general fabulousness here. On music paper, another tag, another, um, a little, let's see, did, I should put some, like, little surprise in there. <clears throat> butterflies, butterflies, more butterflies, tickets, journaling spots, little corner pocket, We've got a flip here with this, whatever you want on it. Oh, I forgot. I stuck this string in here because it did have a tag. There it is. There is a tag in there. Um, I had a little tag in here that I wanted to include because I found this little tag with a dragonfly on it. And I wanted to include it in this little journal because I put that stamp up there with the dragonfly. So I threw this tiny piece of whatever the, whatever you call this stuff, jute, it's a jute twine or something, this, you know, unraveling string to put on this tag. Okay, and then I punched out some little butterflies for the string, and there's some buttons, and this is a little flip. Here I just got tags and tags and didn't do much to this page, but I like the plainness. Some of those prima flowers, bling in the middle. This is where the envelope goes that I'm going to put the vellum envelope with all the scraps in it for whoever gets it. This is just a little craft paper envelope I made and a plain card. More coffee stain paper with stamps. Um, applique, cameo, more flowers, bling, some little punch cards that I backed with index cards to make them strong because this paper was kind of thin. 
some flowers and a little bobby pin stamps. And that's the end of the first signature. Second signature, I've got this little pin and the homemade envelope with just a journaling card, I guess, in it. If that's what you are. I made like this little tuck spot here and just glued a bunch of flowers everywhere because I just love flowers. You can never have too many flowers. Some little blingies down here, little washi tapes, stamps, stamps, punches, buttons, washi, washi, washi tape everywhere. I left this kind of plain. This is this ledger, antique ledger paper. It is very thin. Uh, Kane Company flower. A tuck spot with her fabulous self. I can't remember her name. She's a silent film star. Some paper with a little punch on it. Another one of those handmade envelopes that I coffee stained and spatter painted. And then I made a side opening, I think. Yeah, a side opening card. So if you actually wanted to make a card and send it to someone, you could still use this base and this envelope and put their information on it. So I didn't put anything on the outside. And then we just have some more paper decorations. Here we've got stamp, washi, King Company, homemade bow, little tag with some stamps, handmade envelope, and some more paper, matching paper that I just cut and stamped to journal on. I don't have anything on the back. I just aged it. Oh, I made a homemade postcard out of some of my coffee stain paper. I never put a picture on the back. I stamped it with that recipe, faux bunny recipe stamp. And then I just added a ribbon and some trim to this and a little flower. And then her, she's one of my homemade ephemera from the free printables. I got a video on that. A little button and some more of those Prima flowers. And in here, I just stuck some random journaling cards that I made. And this was also from the video of the free printables that I just layered that up and I cut it out. Here's an index card that I stamped and aged and put a little piece of lace on to help pull it out. This side, stamp, stamp, cane company, Prima flower. AliExpress, some fabric, some lace. Maria at Pink Crafty World gave me this, and I used the opposite side because it had popsicles on it. And so in this journal, I have stuff from Denise, stuff from Elisa, and stuff from Maria, all three. And then I added a bow and a little piece of that fabric. I put washi tape on the edge because this paper is very thin. This page I just made a little journaling card with that cork ribbon and added some cork cards and then I just added flowers all over the place and this is from a thesaurus that has synonyms for bloom and I love all the words. It says blossom, flower, bud, flowerage, blossoming, blooming, fluorescence, glow, flush, rosiness, radiance, luster, shine, beauty, vigor, zest, strength, Prime, heyday. Oh, I love it. Anyway, I'm not going to go on because there's a lot, but I tore that out and glued that there. And then this page, this little bird Maria made me and she made a little nest. I don't know if you can see, she made the whole ephemera thing, but she made like wrapped up this little raffia to make a nest <clears throat> and put one of those little chipboard birds on it. It's so cute. So I posted a K or pasted a K and company nest down here. And I found this, I don't know where I got this little bit of ephemera. And then I made this pocket and these journal tags that say, I just stapled that on, um, the say fly with these little bird cages. And then there's some, some punches. Then this, I really like this. This is just a bag that I cut a piece of typewriter print paper, um, but this little stamp says your own story, and I have this antique typewriter stamped on here. And then I also tore this out of a different thesaurus, and I should have a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. Good idea. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. Um, and it says, and this was cool because I was just going to get the word journal and see what it said. 
But if you look, all three, all of all four of these were together. It says jot, write, note, scribble, record. Then it says journal, diary, almanac, chronicle, record, blah, blah, blah. Then it says journal list, and then it says journey, right? So I tore out that whole thing and trimmed it to fit that envelope perfectly. So I thought that turned out super cool. That was one of my favorite pages. And then this is just a card that I punched pretty edges out of the some of the uh, paper theme that I had been using. And I'm holding it on with this cute little orange sherbet paper clip I found at the Dollar Tree. This was in a set of cards Denise gave me. So I just made some little like half tucks for that. Look, I don't want to bend it, everything up. I'm going to put this back in. I guess that kind of holds both. I left this plain for photos because this is acid free paper. Um, Oh, that's the back of the front. So I didn't do anything of that. There's a little, I forgot to show the paper, the other paper clips, but I think you guys have probably seen them before. So on this page, I basically just made some tags and places to journal in coordinating colors. I put a little butterfly clip and a sticker and stamps. And this page, same thing, a sticker, some butterflies. I put a button in this one. This is a coin envelope with a butterfly. Oh, there is something in here. Edgar Allan Poe's in here. I don't really know why. I just thought it would be cool to stick him in. He's a free printable, too, so everybody needs a Poe somewhere. And then this card, another one from that set Denise got me. I stickled all the orange roses in here. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but I love stickles. So if I didn't wink of Stella stuff, I probably stickled it or glittered it somewhere along the way. Here's that one with all the hot air balloons. And then this says fly and it's the diff, this, the, this is from the, the source, not the dictionary. So this says to travel through the air, pilot a plane, wing, take wing, take the air, take off, soar, glide, sail, coast, swoop. So I like all the I like all that. And then in here, we made a tear away with some paper Maria had given me that I just layered the little travel trailer and the hot air balloons. So when you need a piece of paper, you can just rip it off. And I just used my tiny attacher to make a little stack of paper. And I made a little tuck spot here for that stack of tear aways. Oh, and I stamped a balloon inside there too, inside the top. Then on this page, we made this ephemera yesterday, and this is those magazine cutouts that I put the matte medium over to take the shine off them. Not that one yet. I gotta do that one. And then I just stamped some craft paper, and I glued that on this page because this was so thin that I really did not like how that was, how that was working out. And then, <clears throat> some more stuff that I just kind of collaged onto the page because the page was so thin. I made this flip and I have done nothing to it, but I'm thinking about maybe just putting some photo corners in here. I This needs something. I might leave that for the owner to do. Then on this page, I put glued down some more of the ephemera that I made yesterday. I had already made this tuck card out of a, ref, out of a guest check and did some stamping at the top and the bottom of this coffee dyed paper. And in this back pocket, there is a journaling card with a little piece of lace with gold lame that I attached with a safety pin. Again, just punched some pretty corners and a piece of plain card stock that matches this um, set. And then when I first made the book, I made this what I call a waterfall. I know that's for pictures, but I actually made it for more journaling space. So I just washi taped down a bunch of index cards and put some washi tape trim at the top. I made this little tiny bulldog clip um, and added some beads to it. I just clipped off this handle and added some beads onto this. And then on the very back page, I glued down this glass um, glassine envelope and I figured I'd stick in the big um, scraps that are not going to fit in the gloss glassine envelope that I'm going to put on that butterfly page 
because I still have to put this. Oh, I wanted to use this too. I forgot. I was digging through my stuff and I found these stuffed ups and I love these little tiny envelopes, but I thought that, um, and I bought, originally I bought these in every color. These came in every color and I found them at a, like a, uh, that flea market and I paid a dollar for them. But I've got a bunch of these and I was going to put one of these little orange or brown envelopes in here and I haven't yet. So I might stick one of those in there somewhere. But that is it. And then we have this weird charm that I did not put any like jewelry chain on. I used this thing from Lisa that Lisa gave me a bunch of different colored ones. And I thought that color was good. And I used, took this off the tassel from Maria's phone charger that was on sale for graduation. And then I put some buttons on here. This is a clothing tag with a bulb pin that I've pinched shut with pliers so it won't pop up and poke anybody. Marie gave me this tassel, but it had several pom-poms on it, and I took most of them off and just left the pink one because it matched. <clears throat> and then I attached this little tassel charm down here to you. Oh, and this, I forgot this big old thing. You know what this is? This is a Christmas ornament. Ain't that crazy? So I put that on there too. And Jenny's got some earrings that'll match it perfect that she's going to mail me that I can add on there too. That's a lot, isn't it? Well, hi, Marcy. Marcy's here. You guys all know Marcy. The gang's all here. So we should, we should have some kind of little contest or raffle or giveaway. And I was trying to think of what we should do like for it. I don't want anybody to have to actually mail anything, but I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> like do some sort of, um, if they don't know me by now. Um, the candy charm. Oh, yeah, it would. But I don't want to give away my candy charm. You only sent me one. The Pope was here and left because you ignored him. <laughs> Did I? Oh, no, I'm going to hell. Well, no, you know what? I'm not going to hell. Now, if God was here and I ignored him, Oh, he'd probably forgive me, though. I bet the Pope would forgive me. For us. I'm sorry. I was trying to hurry through that flip through because there's a lot. Like, there's a lot going on there. It's so much. I got glue on my fingernail. And now I can't seem to get the glue off without gouging the fingernail polish. Yep, I did it. I gouged all my fingernail polish off in one spot. This fingernail polish is old and needs to be thrown away. But the black I had on stained my fingernails kind of a purpley. I had that. That, uh, I don't know, that really dirty looking fingernail color that's left over when all your black polish doesn't come off. You tried. I'm sorry. What were you trying to, what did I miss? You know, sometimes I, you know, I had to go back and watch my video yesterday. I was pulling at lunchtime. I was trying to pull up and show my friend at work something and, um, I got to watch in the chat and I started laughing so hard because like, it was so funny. You know, they're making fun of my sewing machine because it sounds like a BB gun. And then I called my pedal on my sewing machine, the gas pedal, because I don't know. I still don't know what no one still has told me what that pedal that makes it go is called. 
So I don't know what to call it. I call it the gas pedal, but I know that's not right. Let me scroll up. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, I went too far. I could be a oh gee. I think I went too far back. This journal is adorable, she said. You should do a giveaway. Butterflies, buttons, and yummies. Oh my. I'm trying to sit outside and relax watching Dana, my rude neighbor, is using his leaf blower. Yes, a giveaway for everyone on this live. Oh. Well, you have been here the whole time. All right, let's see. Um, okay, so how should we decide who wins? Let me think. We could do an, a random number generator. All right. Let me think of a number. How many people are here? Okay. So there's eight people. So let me get a piece of paper here. Here, let me do like Lisa does. And right, let me do like Lisa does. Okay. I'm going to think of a number between one and 500 and I'm not going to tell anybody. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, hi, Mary. Lisa did that. You remember Lisa writing her number down where you could see it? <laughs> I was like, Lisa, I was trying to call her on the phone. I was like, no, I can see your number. It was funny, though. It was super funny. Look at these. Aren't these tomatoes beautiful? These are from my garden. We are overflowing with tomatoes. All right. So we can do this one of two ways. I can write down my number and say go and have you guys guess until somebody actually hits the number. Or we can just limit everybody to one guess and then just pick the person who gets closest. How do you want to do it? Do you want to keep guessing, guessing, guessing? I don't think that's fair to the people who have slow Wi-Fi, though. Look at this. Mm. Look at this gorgeous meaty tomato. Look at the meat in that. Mm. All right, I agree. I agree, Terry Martin. Okay, so let me go over here and write my number where where you guys can't see it. Um.
Okay. So let me fold this up into a little bit, into a little ball. She can't see. Okay, here's my number right here. So everybody, whoever wants to win this journal, put in a number now. Between, oh, I'm sorry, between 1 and 30. One guess. You only get one guess. Between 1 and 30. 1 and 30. 1 and 3, zero. Okay, Mary. Marcy already said 23. Is that everybody? Yeah. Is everybody done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. We got seven guesses. And my number is eight so carrie was closest congratulations carrie martin you won this journal you won my first place mat journal i'll show you the fancy closure i made this is it this is this is how you work this You lay it with the gold side out, and you wrap this side around this way, and this side goes around this way. Got it? That's the fancy closure I made. Congratulations, Carrie. Carrie's lucky. Carrie, you're pretty lucky, aren't you? And who says 13's bad, bad luck number? It's a, it was good luck for you. Oh, you're right, Marcy. I got plenty. Come and get them. The Rutgers, too. That's all I got left is Rutgers. It's all Rutgers. These are cool, though. Aren't these cool little um, colored envelopes? Oh, they're so stick. Aren't they fun? Look at these tiny little ones. Look at this one. It has a little button closure on it. Aren't these super adorable? Oh, they're just so little and so cute. And you can stick little stuff in them. Oh, they're kind of see-through. 
They're like kind of vellum-y. Let me see. I see. I could punch something out of something and then put it in and you can see the punch. Just stick one of these in here too. It says photo save, so you could even put a little picture in there. Who picks the number eight? You know why I picked that? Because that I was looking up and I looked at Thad, and he just made me fried eggs and tomatoes because, you know, I, I love that man. And he is number eight in his family. He's the eighth of nine children. So eight is kind of his... Eight makes me think of him. And I couldn't pick three because today's the third. And I didn't want to be obvious, but three is like my lucky number. Oh, I'm going to marry him. Yeah. I'm totally going to marry him. Who put the two in front of you? Seven. <laughs> but Thad's number eight, so. In fact... If he's not within earshot, let me go see if he's got the office door closed. I'll tell you guys a little secret. Hang on. I got to go check the office door. And I got to move this plate or my dog is going to hang out with me all forever and ever. Go. Oh, you're not. This is not for you. No, no, I had to go look at the office to see what he was doing, and he's on a call, so he's not paying any attention. He can't hear out here, plus this fan's running. So, I'm making that a journal, but because he's number eight, I think I hauled this before, too, but I have this hidden in my, you know, with some pictures in there. Um, because he's number eight, that's kind of like... I don't know. He jokes that his underwear always said number eight and like his house key says number eight. And anytime you find anything that says eight, it's dad's, you know, amongst the sisters and brothers. So I found this sheet for like an eight year old party or theme or number eight or whatever. So I love it. It's eight o'clock highway eight. It's just got like this number eight punched in metal and then the card and all these I thought that was cool. I thought this dice was cool. Like it's one of those, um, what do you call it for that game? And it's got this clock on eight. It's got an eight ball, the eight dice say eight. And this says eight and the stamp is eight. So just so many eights, the block. So I thought, yeah, I thought it would be cool all these eights to include when I do his journal. So yeah, I think it'd be fun. So this is kind of girly. I probably won't use that. Plus it looks like a snowman. Don't you think it looks like an, an orangey snowman as opposed to an eight? But I like this because it says eight, eight, eight. And the candy necklace I probably won't use because that's kind of girly too. But everything else I think I can work with. Yeah, I'm going to put this away before he comes like wandering through. Because he'll pick up on it. He'll be like, oh, what's that for? Because he always notices eight because that's his number. Right? That's like his thing. Hi, Maria. Good morning.
Yeah, I said three was always my lucky number, but since I'm at that, I guess it's eight. <laughs> Kim, I wondered where you went. Oh, my dog. Go out the big door. Just go. Don't bug me. Just squeeze. Go. Go, Rufus. Fine, I'm not getting up. Oh. Oh my gosh. Fine, go. Go, Rufus. Go play. Oh my God, he's such a brat. Oh my gosh. So I tried to close the garage door and he knows to bob and weave into the garage door to make it stop and go back up. He wants the garage door open because he likes it when the whole everything's all open and he can come in here with me or go outside and guard the bird feeder from the squirrels that are going to steal the seeds. All right, Jenny. Thanks for coming by. Give them my phone number, Kim. I'm going to call your neighbor. We got to, we got to talk to them. I got to go too, though. You know, I'm off my no spin. I should probably be, you know, out acting crazy. I do actually want to go to a garage sale that's just a couple blocks away, just out of curiosity. Because you know me, I love a good bargain. If I can go get something for a dime that I can use, yeah, I'm like, oh, yay. What am I making next? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I really enjoyed that paper. I'm thinking about doing a process video. I'm trying to figure out how to work out a process video for those botanical prints because it is so messy. And I use like three different rooms to do it. So I'm wondering how I can either get someone to film. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to figure it out. Memory decks. You want to see memory decks cards? I've literally made one memory decks card when I entered Danielle's flat mail challenge. That's it. Like I have never made another memory decks card, but I did promise Denise. I, Denise has reminded me several times that I owe her and I do owe her one. <clears throat> I did. I have colored cardstock, Kim, but I'm really limited down to like one or two sheets of most colors and some colors I'm completely out of. I did not go buy any yet because I like those big assorted packs at Tuesday morning for like seven bucks. So I think I'm going to maybe do that because usually that's pretty good quality uh, cardstock. Now I did buy acrylic paper, acrylic paint paper and watercolor paper to do more of the um, botanical prints because I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really excited that I finally got it down to where you can see them and they're dark. And that was the thing. Like if you can't see them, if I have to tell you what's on that paper and you go, oh yeah, now I can see it. It's not really significant enough image, a significant enough image for me to be something that I want to use. I want it to be something, you know, that you can see. So I'm thrilled. Oh my gosh, 279. That's such a good price. Well, yeah, certainly. If you have more than you can use, I can't even imagine that. Like, I, there's not enough cardstock in the world <clears throat> because that's the one thing you must have. You must have a cardstock supplier or something because 
there is not enough cardstock in the United States to where I could ever say more than I could use. But you see how quick I go through this, just that craft paper, like between the project yesterday, the project today, I used one whole sheet of my coffee dyed cardstock and two sheets of craft paper that I just tore up and, right, right. Thank you, Kim. But <clears throat> yeah, the coffee dyed paper is like so precious. But, um, and you know, I made this pink coffee dyed paper. Did I tell you I took that hot pink paper that that girl gave me? Did I show you guys that I coffee dyed the hot pink paper? And I don't know if I like it or not. And it's kind of thin, so I'm not sure what to do with it. Let me show you. I'm going to pull it out. Here's my, I just made a new batch. This is my tea stained. This is coffee stained. This is coffee stained, the coffee stained pink. And these are the tea stained pink. So I don't know if I like the coffee stained pink. This is what, this is what the tea stain came out like. And it's a little bit lighter. And I don't know if I like it either because it just kind of, it kind of pulled up on there in places. But it's really bright. It's like, it was this printer paper that somebody had left over that was like really super bright. And then, so I like, I like the coffee pink, the pink stain better, but I went ahead and used a solid pink and coffee stain that with it, but it's kind of thin too. I seen the coolest paper done with mad, what's the magicals? Yeah. You know what, Carrie, I started using this, um, I had an abundant supply of one time at that, of that oil paper. What do you call that? This, this is what I have left now, but it's like super thick. It's like that 200 pound weight stuff for like wedding invitations. And I got a great big stack of it because the lady said it was mildew and that it was ruined. So I took it, I covered it in, well, first of all, only the bottom two or three sheets had actually got wet and mildewed. The rest of the paper smelled fine. Uh, I misted it with vinegar and the rest I soaked in vinegar, but the acid from the coffee and the vinegar combined makes it, the mold, the mold stains gone or the mold smells gone and there was no visible stains on it. So then it won't come back. So that's what I ended up doing with all the, um, that coffee, that, that paper she gave me was, I made a ton of stuff and I made everybody smell this paper for like a year. I think citrus staining is where you just take and zest, right? Don't you just zest the peel? National Gra Geographic paper, it is beautiful. I didn't even know National Geographic made paper. And I don't know what Magicals is. Citrusol. Is that like a dehydrated zest or is it like calcium citrate? Because you're saying citrus, like an orange or a lemon or a lime, like a citrus fruit. Citrusol. Well, hi, Denise. It's about time. Were your ears burning? 
I was flipping through the journal showing them. You got like three things in there. Lisa gave me some stuff. Maria gave me some stuff. You gave me some stuff. All this stuff from people is in there. Now they're talking about citrus dyeing. And I don't know what that is. But Lisa said you can buy it in the organic section of the store called Citrazol. And I don't know what it was. Oh, it's a liquid. I thought it was a powder. I don't know. I'm getting confused. I'll have to look it up. Avocado dye is kind of pink, isn't it? Doesn't it turn it pink or does it turn it light green? Do you guys have Meyer Grocery Store, by the way? Not Fred Meyer, but Meyer with a J. Like Meijer, spelled like Meijer. Like that, Meyer. You guys have Meyer? They have, right now, they have like 90% off their school supplies. So I got a bunch of stuff for just nothing, nothing. Like if it was $10 to begin with, it's a dollar now. Well, that's right. I think you said that before, Mary. They're having a really good sale right now. Yeah, I remember you saying you liked that job. You know, I hear... Um, my friend's daughter works there, and I hear they have fantastic insurance for their employees, so I like giving them my money. I get upset with Walmart because they won't properly insure their staff, even though they're getting loaded, loaded, because those people keep their stores running. They won't properly insure them, but you know what? I mean... I know it's a business, but I don't like to patronize businesses that don't take good care of their employees. But I hear Meyer has really good insurance and benefits for their employees, so that's nice. I like that. Blueberry, yeah. Blueberry would turn it a really nice purple. I did. I finished the placemat journal, and we just raffled it off. Carrie Martin won it because she picked the number closest to eight. That was the number I chose, eight. You sure can. Carrie won this journal when we raffled it. Here, zoom in a little. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Now I can't find my webcam. Here it is. Settings. All right. There we go. This is up. All right. Try and get in the middle here. And there's just a tag with a little button. This is a plain tag. This is a plain tag. 
Let's move that. Dragonfly tag. Which matches this dragonfly. Let's get these little butterflies on here. Hook up. Over. This lady. This tag is plain. This is plain. And then there'll be a vellum pocket that goes in here that, um, all right, Lisa, love you. Yes, I love Maddie and Madison. She's fantastic. She makes some really fun stuff. These are just exactly like they're twins. I made them exactly alike. That's the first signature. There's the second signature. It's just got this in it. Here we've got flowers and buttons. We've got this little paper clip charm. This. This. And here we've got this. It's pretty plain inside. But you could actually make this a card and make this into a card and address it to somebody and send it. And then just a journaling card and this and this lady. She's a silent film star, but I can't think of her name now. We got this and this postcard. We made that together. And then there's just some journaling cards plain in here that I made. And this sweet little tag that I hit with Link of Stella to give it some sparkle. And there's her. And here is just more places to journal. And a little tag I made. And a Journal, some more stuff. Here's another journaling card. Flowers, flowers, more flowers. Some more cards. Okay. This is just plain. This is just plain. I put in these little tucks. And you got me a stack of these, Denise. And there's this little like sherbet colored. That's the end of the second journal. And then we've got this cute little ice cream cone paper clip that I made. Mary Pickford, Dana. Set off that. Is it Mary Pickford? <gasps> it is Mary Pickford. I think it is. I have to look it up. I wrote it down. But yeah, Mary Pickford was like a silent film star goddess. And then I gotta hide something cute in here. Oh, I put egg girl and pile in this one. I gotta put somebody in the other one. Because everybody needs a little poet in their journal. Okay. If you don't have poetry, then you need a poet. And here's this little tear away from the paper Maria gave me. That I made a little tearaway that I tucked in there. And here's the ephemera we made last night. I stamped all the lines on the back. And 
rose is on here. And I covered this page similarly. I should hang something here, some twine or something. And then this great big flip out that you can put a bunch of pictures in. And this little guest check paper. These and this index card waterfall and this just some big leftovers from that process so that is it we have this little bad boy which is sticking here too So yeah. Need to stick one of these on too. I kind of want to put this sweet little pocket in here somewhere. And then we'll figure out something to put in it. I know. I should put the crazy vegetable lady in the see-through pocket. And that is it. And then here's the charm. And Jenny's sending me a pair of earrings she said would be perfect for this. So I'm going to put one of those earrings on. Oh, I forgot. I made this little plant back here, too. This charm is out of one of these little... These little bulldog clamps that I just made. This on a head pin with some matchy, matchy beads on it. In on the handle. So I leave the front side up that's got the charm on it, and then I flip this back side down so it's not sticking out so far. So there's a bunch of little fun stuff sticking out at the top. And then this was off Maria's phone charger, her iPhone charger, which was a graduation charger present thing. And then there's some little ribbons and bits. And I didn't leave a whole lot sticking out this side too far. A few little threads and things. Hopefully when Carrie adds to it, she can add some stuff. Denise gave me these butterflies. So yeah. So I'll stick her a few bits and bobs and give her the leftover paper trimmings, or at least what's worth what's worth having. Some of that stuff, like this stuff, is just, I don't know, so small, it's not really that usable. <clears throat> Doesn't have much life left in some of these bits. But... I know, I painted them with this, um, I know, look, I already chipped one. Um, I painted them with this wet and wild, I took the black off finally, and I, uh, this is so old, it's like all goopy, and it doesn't want to dry. But I really like this color. It's, um... Yeah, I can't, I can't see that. It's blue. Painted. I painted my nails. I polished my nails. Is there a difference? 
Oh, because this is not paint, it's polish. You're right, because it says. Somewhere on here, I bet that it's nail polish. Actually, it says wild shine, wild shine nail color, wet and wild, wild shine nail color. So I colored my nails. I wild, I wild shine them. Mary, don't feel bad. It's noon. And I haven't done, I kept saying, well, as soon as I get home, I'm going to throw in a load of laundry. Really, Dana? Because you know what I did? I did a haul, a mini haul to show all the, the stuff I bought at Meijer now that I'm not on a no spend anymore. I only spent like six bucks. I got a whole bunch of stuff. And then, um, yeah. And then I, um, been on here doing finishing this journal because I really wanted to have it done today. I did. I do like it. It's my color. Blue is my signature color. I do like this is kind of a turquoise -y, so I like that. But my nails are stained when I took that black off. They're stained real bad. So I really do a light color. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And I love the fact that you got to see beginning to end. That was super fun. I've never done that before. And so you saw it from a placemat. From the time I was going, hmm, I wonder if my paper cutter will cut this placemat all the way to now when it's all said and done. I feel you on that, Mary. Out. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I haven't figured it out just yet. I'm going to make a better bow because this bow is kind of janky, isn't it? Is this bow a little mm -hmm. so, so. Yeah. Let's see this. A little bit more. There we go. That's a better bow, isn't it? That a little better. a little lopsided. All right, Lizzie. Bye. I don't even know what snow and cocoa is. I, um, you know what? I do like some of the glitter papers in particular. I don't like the big, um, round glitter, you know, the big round flat ones that fall off. Those are like the bane of my existence. Carrie, however, had needs a glitter intervention and she loves them. Claire, Carrie likes to mist herself down with her water bottle and roll in glitter. When she's not watching my lives. 
thank you. They're both very kind-hearted. Thank God. You're doing your hair. Are you going to post a picture? Nothing wrong with rolling in glitter. Denise is also a fan. Denise also likes to mist herself down, roll in glitter, and then video call me. She says, look, look, I'm a fairy. I'm the glitter fairy. Naked, right. I forgot that part. I thought your favorite color was coffee. <laughs> Sue, I knew you were gonna I I knew you were gonna have something smart to say. She said at least she has something on. Yes, she's wearing glitter and a smile. That's <laughs> <laughs> Sue's hilarious. Sue makes me cough. <coughs> Sue, <coughs> Sue makes me laugh until I cough. Okay. <coughs> she makes the spittle go down the wrong pipe. <coughs> That's the medical term for that. Don't choke. I know. Sue is funny, though. Sometimes she makes me... She sends me these random... Seriously, Sue sends me the funniest texts. Sue and Denise both. Denise, if you're not paying attention, she'll say the funniest stuff. And later on the replay, I'll see something she said. And I will be cracking up. Like, I will... Seriously. I will be cracking up. Oh, I do like the textured ones, but I don't really have a big use for it. I mean, if you, if you can find somebody that can use it, if you're going to send me paper anyway, toss in a sheet, but don't send me, if you have like an overload, don't send me a bunch of it because I won't be able to put it to good use either. Um, because I don't have that much use for, well, I don't know with the Halloween, I guess it depends on what color it is. What color is it a neutral color? Right? I'm sorry. I didn't know that chicken was bad, Sue. I didn't mean to make bad food for you. No, seriously, I know what you mean. Like, I'm at that age. You got to be careful. Have a couple cups of coffee and then start having a sneezing fit. You might be in trouble. Here's my dog again. Oh my God, would you stop running in and out? All right, come in. Hang on, I'm going to grab some coffee real quick. I know how to go to the line, just keep yapping. I'm such a liar. I keep going, I gotta go. I'm gonna go now. I know, I keep thinking, you know, I do. A few times when I've slipped up and said stuff, I have went, 
I did go and delete some videos too because I thought, oh my gosh, I don't even want her to hear that. But you know, um, I don't know if she reads that good yet. So I don't know though because she's super smart. So I don't. I'm not. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know I have a YouTube channel at all. Like, and if she did, I'm pretty sure she doesn't know how to find it. <clears throat> Not that when she does find it, she can't go back and watch videos. But I think this being hours and hours of, and it's moving pretty slow. It's not that exciting. So. So I think now it's safe to, to be candid, but so the glitter paper is pink, Kim. I'm sorry. I stepped away for a minute to get me a cup of coffee. Oh, it's all colors. Well, yeah, send me some if you're not going to use it. You can even cut it down because a lot of times I use it to make die cuts from. So I have to cut it down to fit into my big shot. And that's only like, what, six inches? Is it? I think the plates are six inches wide. Is that right, Sue? I bet Sue knows. How wide are the plates on the big shot? Like six by ten or something? Denise's entire craft room is pink. Don't you even have a pink couch in your craft room? I think Denise has a pink couch. Yeah. Okay. So you could even cut it down, Kim. If you have like 12 by 12s, you can cut it down to six inches if you need to for to pack it <clears throat> or mail it or whatever. That's why I try to buy, a lot of times I like buying the cardstock in the just eight and a half by 11, because I do a lot of stuff in eight and a half. All these papers are eight and a half by 11, and I like that, as opposed to the 12 by 12s are a lot hoarder, hoarder. why do I keep saying hoarder? I, <laughs> they're a lot harder for me to store. You know, I just got these this tongue yesterday came Amazon prime. It was free delivery. I love prime, but <clears throat> anyway, I keep them in my filing cabinet and it's nice because the eight and a half by 11 fits in the, in the filing cabinet with just the regular size papers, the 12 by 12s I have to store in the, you know, uh, scrapbook containers and they're not near as convenient as pulling out these drawers because they get heavy. So that's why a lot of times when I buy the cardstock, I just buy the eight and a half by 11 because a lot of times I cut it down to that anyway. There you go, right? <clears throat> so I made a list of things I need to buy, right? So you guys tell me if you know of any good deals on this stuff. Let me find my list and you can tell me I just had this little, I just used a piece of paper to do the drawing. And now what did I do with my little pad of paper? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I made me a list. Let me tell you what's on my list to buy. Okay. I need, um, I need wax paper bags. Who knows where the best place to get those are? I'm thinking of Gordon's Food Service. We have GFS. Does everybody have a Gordon's Food Service? You guys know what that is? Has anybody bought the wax paper sandwich bags that are already made into little bags? Because I'm thinking I would like to buy those for... Denise, I think you sent me a wax paper bag. 
Walmart, they sell the bags already made. Sue, you know I hate patronizing Walmart. You know they, they're glassine. Where do you get the glassine? Is glass glassine is not wax paper though. That's very different, right? <coughs> so this is glassine, what's in the back? This is glassine bag. But I'm talking about, I want some real wax paper bags, too. <clears throat> I thought those would be fun to put in a journal. Like the sandwich bags that are already made. Okay, then I also need, okay, I need some plain breads. What's the best place to buy plain breads? Do you guys know, like, they don't have to be colored or fancy. I just want, like, to get a pack that's got... Some gold, some silver, some aged, maybe copper. I don't really use copper that much, but. <coughs> what do you think? Do you know of any place? The grocery store. Different. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think GFS, I could buy a box of them in bulk. Pretty cheap. Is Brad's the best place? Do you have some, Sue? Just plain ones? Actually, you know what? Mar now that Marcy said that, I do have a box of Brad's from the office supply. I forgot. And you know what? They're all gold. They are all gold. You know what? I do have them. I have a huge box. Now that I'm thinking about it, I knew it. I knew I had brats. Yes, I look. Yes, I knew it. And all my little, I mean, I have these little brats, but these are just too tiny to be useful. And I have these decorative ones that are lock and key. But look at this. I forgot about these. I do have all these gold brats. Okay. So. Let's, yes. You know what? Yes, yes, yes. I got a great idea. All right. And let me see what else. I know where to get this. I know where to get this. Okay. Something else. If you guys see, it's the end of the year. If you guys see any seed packets on sale where they're like, you know, they're marked down to like 10 cents. Grab them for me. Any flowers, annuals or perennials, I don't care. The reason being is, number one, I will dump the seeds in my garden in the spring and just see what comes up. But I use those seed packets over and over and over to make it ephemera. I love seed packets to make pockets and journals. And I am in the middle of a garden collecting for a garden journal. Lisa is doing a garden journal. And... <coughs> So if you see, because this is the perfect time of year when they close out all that stuff in the garden centers, and if you guys see seed packets, please pick me some up. Well, that's a good idea, Carrie. I didn't think. Yes, Denise, and thank you. I love the blank ones, but I also like the ones that actually say stuff on that have the flat the picture of the flower and has the description and the words and stuff and what else there was one other thing i was going to look for let me see where my list is Oh, I forgot to show you guys what I got at Allie. <coughs> I cannot put coffee now. Oh, I know what I want. I want a book of quotes. I want a Bartlett's. So if you guys see a Bartlett's at like your Goodwill or Salvation Army or anything, I will pay... For the book, I will pay you to ship it. 
if you put it in one of them envelopes, them big envelopes, they're like, what are they? I don't know, like eight bucks or something. No, I like to tear them out of the Bartlett's. And I don't want to use ink. It's called Bartlett's. Bartlett's Book of Quotes. Bartlett's is like um, probably one of the nicest wedding gifts I think I ever got. Um, okay, by the way, I've only been married once. So I just make it sound like of all seven weddings. But I got this Bartlett's coffee, what they called a coffee table book. And now they have all different like types but they have one that's called Bartlett's The History of Folklore. And it's stories about how urban legends and folklore came to be. For instance, you know, people say it's bad luck to spill the salt. When you spill the salt, you're supposed to take a pinch of it and throw it over your left shoulder. Well, all oh, there's meaning behind all that. First of all, back when that saying started... It was unfortunate to waste any salt. You had to have salt to cure meat to get through the winter. So salt was very important and it wasn't easy to come by when you didn't have stores. You had to either trade Indians or find a salt lick or whatever. Second, back in the day, they always believed that God was, you know, to your right was your good side and your left was your bad. And if you had any evil spirits, they spoke to you in your left ear and any guardian angels would whisper in your right. So they would throw salt over their left shoulder to get rid of any evil spirit because that's who got blamed for making them spill the salt. So all these little legends and stories of folklore, I find fascinating, very interesting but there is some truth to them, too. Like a couple hundred years ago, they used to say that <clears throat> more babies were born on a full moon. But now we know that is an absolute fact that the gravitational pull is greater during a full moon, which is why the tides are higher. So um, a funeral from your sea book you used yesterday. Send Madison and Maddie I message. She has all kinds of unique books for sale. Not sure whose funeral. Yeah, Marcy's in hers too, so. She's my partner in crime, so to speak. We're drug dealers of the legal sort. Not sure how to make a funeral from your sea book. I think, Kim, I'm guessing that that's a typo. But maybe not. I used yesterday. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure my brain can process that since... <coughs> I am a night shift person at State Up. <coughs> okay, so you guys know I have a project coming up. My Jack Skellington journal. Did I tell you about this? You guys want to see what I've got for it so far? My friend's daughter is a huge Jack Skellington fan. And as such, <coughs> her mother has asked me to make her a Jack Skellington journal as a Christmas present. So, I have tucked some things in this drawer for her. I will show you what I have collected so far. Two of these. I think those are the same thing, actually.
Okay, so here's the plan. The paper in the journal, I am going to use some coffee stain, some black, some white, not a whole lot of white, um, but a lot of craft paper. Um, these are some of my paper samples that I have started to kind of pick out ideas of pages that I want to make. So this is kind of some of the papers I set aside that I think are going to go good in the whole black and white theme. Now I am going to add some color to it, which those colors are going to be pulled out on pages that feature Sally. I also went to Michael's in that five for a dollar bin and I picked out a bunch of the black and white washi tapes. Some of these are duplicates. And I bought a bunch. And then I found these charms. So to make the, the charm, I thought this was really cool. Let me see how this opens. This opens like this. It's got this little, inside, it's a pocket watch. And on the front, it has Jack and I am actually going to take it off of this long chain and this will be like the part of the focal point on the journal. <laughs> then I have this necklace. Also, I'm going to do the same thing with this. Yeah, this is, I got all this at Alley. And I found this necklace. I thought this was, let me pull the light over better. I thought this was really cool. And of course, I'm going to take that off the chain too. And I bought this little <clears throat> container today. I'm going to use this to put this stuff into for now so I don't lose it because I hate these little bags. They drive me crazy. All right, so I got this one. This little charm I think is adorable. And it's like Jack with a little shooting star. It's kind of got a little bit of glare. And then <clears throat> this is yeah that's the wrong one that's i don't think i ordered that you know maybe i did but sometimes i click on the wrong thing so when i go back i always think oh that's the wrong thing and then when i go back and look in my orders yeah that's exactly what i what i ordered i ordered this jack skellington charm bracelet i'm not going to use the whole thing i'm actually going to use this and I'm going to use, I believe this, this little bat, and then this, this, they, his little face. And then I don't think I'm going to use a lot of the rest of the stuff. Well, I might use that. That's kind of cute. And then I got these. I'm going to use this. Crazy little house. And probably the spider and the spider web. And I kind of like this guy with the top hat. Even though it's not Jack Skellington, I think it's kind of cool. But I also like this little... Jolly Roger with the bow in her hair. It's like a little skull and crossbones with a bow. So I'm going to use that too. And then I got these guys. I'm definitely going to use the hand. I bought a set of each and shared them with people. So I may or may not use him. I'm definitely going to use the hand, the bony hand. And 
And I'm going to use this definitely. This is very, very heavy. This thing cost me like $2.50, but I really, really like it. I think between this and this, I'm really going to have a good bit of bulk onto this charm. A lot of fun stuff. And then I got these stickers. Which I haven't really looked at yet, but we'll flip through them real quick. Oh, that's not really Jack. There's Jack and Sally. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. And I'll just use this to create these to create ephemera throughout the book. Oh, of course, this. Love, love, love. Oh, look, it's a little girl Sally doll. Oh, now I have to use him. Look, they're like little Raggedy Anna Andy type. Oh, look, they're holding hands. Yeah, I'm going to have to use that. All right, and then... I think I'd accidentally bought two of these from two different people. So I'm betting that that and this appears to be the same thing, but they came at different times. Oh, look, I love that sticker. There they are holding me. Oh, there he is with his, what, his dog, whatever it is. I don't know what the dog is Oh, I bought that in the big poster, too. That's what I'm going to make the cover out of, I think. Oh, with his shades on, holding hand. Oh, look. Sally took her arm off and is reaching for the popcorn with her detached arm. Oh, there's a closer up. Oh, there he is with her arm again. Oh. That dirty Santa beard. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the same thing. And then I've got, let me close this up so it looks not this stuff. Let me go ahead and stick that in there too. I think. I'm going to put these in here that I know I'm definitely going to use in this post. So I got this little movie film strip. Ain't that cool? Yeah. And those are all duplicates. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, these are all duplicates. That I really got for my sewing journal, huh? Jack. Okay, so here's the ribbon I found also on Allie. Here's some of it. All righty, Carrie. I will do this. And I got this ribbon. And this, I think, is what I'm going to make the cover out of. Nope, not that one. Well, maybe. This is the poster to the movie in French. And then this, I think, is what I'm going to make the cover out of. I think that'll be really cool. I might shrink it. I might scan this and shrink this down. But... I'm not sure. Not exactly sure yet how I'm going to do that. And then I've got this. <clears throat> this I bought at Joann's. I decided in within the book I can put journals in there. Um, so I went ahead and bought a bullet journal so she would have lots of places to write. This came with three and because it's black, brown, and gray, I thought it would go perfect with the journal. 
and I got it on clearance for $274. So don't you think those will look cute with those papers and that whole kind of theme? I think it's going to look really good. And then this is what I'm going to make the, I'm going to make a drawstring bag to actually put the book inside. So this is, <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, I got more fabric of that. Now you know what, Joanne's you can you can buy a minimum of two inches. So what I did was I got went and got all the Jack Skellington fabric, and I figured out how many inches I need to get enough of each picture to make you know some pockets or ephemera so that it's not repeating through the whole book. So um, this actually only has three pictures on it. But in order to get three complete pictures, I had to buy enough to zigzag down the middle so that I could have maybe have a border or turn them into a square pocket or whatever I'm going to do with that. So I thought that was really cute. <clears throat> I especially love this image. And then the dog's got his little light up nose. And then this, same thing. I bought just enough, I think I bought five inches of this, just enough to get complete images throughout here. Now this is the same repeating image, and then these two are the same. So I only need a few of these, but I can use them at different angles, and if I put them on different backgrounds or tags, hopefully they'll look a little different. Plus, you know, you can color them in with fabric paint. You can. Um, Um, I don't know. The reason I tacked this on to the end of this particular video is because I don't want her to watch my channel and ruin the surprise. And I don't think she does, but I'm not sure I'm going to have to ask her mom. Um, I don't want to just pop up in her feed and her to be like, oh my God, that's Dana. Oh my God, that's for me. Okay. Again, same here. I just bought like four inches or three inches or however much I needed to get the faces, all of the faces. So I got one of that one, one of that one, one of that one, and then it repeats again. So I don't care that some of the faces are caught off up here or down here. This was really mainly the row I needed. <clears throat> So I have some cute ideas for the faces. I think I can maybe do some fabric covered buttons or something. I'm not 100% not sure I can do that. I've never done that, but I, I understand it's pretty easy. Also this, I thought this would make good ephemera. The problem with this is it's Jersey material. So it's really, really stretchy. So I don't know, but I love this of Jack and Sally. I love this of him right here. I love her face there. I like this little cat creature. There he is upside down. So this is actually a little bit different. See how he's got one hand up here and two hands up here. Then there's the trick-or-treaters peeking in the window here. Here's Sally again at the gate. Um, here's this guy, whatever, and that guy. I can't remember his name. And then, and then it starts to repeat again basically. So I've got Jack and Sally here. I've got this um, wheelchair duck guy. I can't think of his name. More trick tree. Here's, here's Jack with his hands up and his thrown up signs or whatever he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. And then here he is here. Again, Jack and Sally, Jack and Sally. So they kind of got cut off over there. Let me see. Oh, I don't have a good one. Yeah, I got a good Jack and Sally over here. Okay, so on this end, I've got a whole Jack and Sally over here, too. So there's a lot of little things I can use in this. So I just got a few inches of each, and it didn't cost me that much. I think I got a, out of Joanne's for about, I know, right? He's like, yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how to do that. Um. We, he, I think I got out of Joanne's for like 12 bucks. Well, I'll tell you, here's the receipt. Yeah, 12 dollars 
And basically all I bought was the fabric. Oh no, I'm sorry. I spent $5.99. I forgot these Pyroline <clears throat> wafer cookie things were $5.99. So I actually, well, yeah, because the total, the subtotal was $16.89 before tax. The cookies were $6. So I basically spent $10.89 on all of this little, these little few inches here, few inches there of fabric. And then these were $2 and something. And then I haven't really invested in a lot of paper yet. These ribbons were kind of costly. These ran me like $1.24 each, which I was kind of surprised. But then I didn't realize I got, I think, four five meters, which is, you know, but I do think that's so cool. I love that one. And it's really, really thick, sturdy ribbon. Like it's a really, really nice ribbon. So and then we've got this one all over this one too. I see this. Why does that look like Tommy Pickle's head? Does the same guy that draws this ribbon or drew this character, does he draw the Rugrats too? Because that's like exactly Tommy Pickle's shaped head, right? Those great big eyes. You know who I'm talking about? My kids used to watch the cartoons when they were little. Okay. So I got this from... Oh, they have a Facebook group. It's called Dang Dang Ooh Yang. I am not kidding either when I say that. Look, here's their Facebook group. It's Dang Dang Ooh, yang. Cross my heart. That is their thing. I'll be dang dang ooh yang. This can also be found at their website is www.diyribbon.com. So it says, use this barcode to register at our website. And once you register, you get a $2.99 reward. Does it, do I have to be lost to get the reward? I think they, they, I'm sure they mean coupon. Also invite friends to order and I can get a 1% commission for all the total orders within one year. <sighs> okay, guys. Order. From David's Accessories is the name of the store on the alley. David's Accessories. I know you guys have seen me haul from there before. I really like them. You've seen me haul other stuff from them. So that's my, that's the beginning bones of Jack Skellington. I ordered all this stuff over a month ago, and I know in a year, 1% of all the whole total in a year. So if I sell like $1,000, I get a whole dollar off. So go, just go buy stuff right now, Carrie, uh, Marcy. I mean, just don't, just go. Just go buy stuff, please, so I can get my one, my big 1%. I'm going to need y'all to buy like $10,000 worth of me. One, a whole 1%. Boy, that's generous. Okay, so let's go buy some stuff. 
So I really am leaving this time. No lie. Turning my art lights off. I'm so glad we had this time. <clears throat> Can't see it, but I'm yanking on my ear. Remember Carol Burnett? I love the Carol Burnett show. It's like one unit of insulin. I know. Who does that? That's like peeing in the ocean. The doctor gives gives an order for one unit of insulin and everybody just kind of giggles and goes back to what they were doing. Like no one actually goes and administers it, do they? Because they're like, no. <laughs> That's like telling people, you know, they got these 400 pound people. They put them on an aspirin every day to prevent heart disease. Really? Because they weigh 400 pounds and he gave them 81 milligrams of aspirin, which normally you would want it, them to chew up 12, right? Or at least give them 325 milligrams. I mean, I take 325 milligrams a day and that's not prescribed to me. But then you're going to, if you're going to go to the trouble of writing a prescription, at least give them a full aspirin, a whole full aspirin. I don't know. Not, maybe not with the old people because they get GI bleeds and different stuff. And it's different if you got, you know, but somebody who's already had a stroke or a smoker or somebody who's on hormones or overweight, get, let's, you know what, let's, let's be brave. Let's give them a whole aspirin. Even if you just do it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then take a baby aspirin the rest of the days. I'm over the antibiotics, really. That's what's killing me now, Marcy. Antibiotics. You know, you used to go to the doctor and say, I have a sore throat. He'd say, are you vomiting? Do you have diarrhea? Do you have, you know, whatever? And he'd be like, okay, gargle some salt water. Thanks for coming. Bye. You know, run a humidifier, get some steam by your bed at night. And now they're like, people are like, I want antibiotics. I demand antibiotics. Give me something to change my intestinal flora to make me gain weight make me more resistant to other drugs in the future because I want to ruin my own well-being. I don't know. Scary. It's scary. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, a lot of doctors won't though. They'll tell you, they're like, look, do you want to take antibiotics? Cause it could do you more harm than good. And some people still want them. They're like, mm, no, I want antibiotics. I want to harm myself, please. Please give me antibiotics. All right. I'm really going to go now. Cause I'm going to go to the, the garage sale down the street. I'm going to look for a Bartlett's book of quotations. Like really cheap. I'm talking really cheap. If you guys see it cheap, cheap. Because I could get it off of Amazon for 10 bucks. So don't be like buying that book for $15. Be like, Dana, you owe me $15. You said you would. Probably should have said that earlier. I'd probably still pay you just because I feel bad, but don't do it. Don't pay $50. Anyway, I'm going to that garage sale, and then I'm going to get my act together and throw some laundry in and try and squeeze some adulting into this day. So... Oh, there is? Oh, I might have to check that out. I want to go shopping too, but I don't really have anything I need right this second. 
So, you know, here's the thing. If I do better, if I just order what I need when I need it off Amazon, because once I walk into that store, it's over. I don't care what store I'm in. Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, Tuesday morning. I'm walking out with at least $30 worth of stuff. Even if I just went in to use the bathroom, like it don't matter. I can't, I can't do it. We don't have to need it. Marcy, my budget says knock it off. That's what my wallet. I don't, where's my wallet? Let me open my wallet and you can hear the echo. All right, here it is. Hello, 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 hello. You hear that? That's my pocketbook. Yeah, I guess I guess sometimes we have to feed that monster too of like I see all that stuff hauled. As long as I don't watch the hauls, I'm okay. But you know I have a stamp problem to you. So I go and find like cute stamps and these cute little paper clips and these little things. I'm like, oh that's so cute. Oh that's so cute. Oh that's so cute. Next time then next thing you know, I'm buying eighty dollars worth of cute. I'm like, oh, that's not that cute. Why did I buy that? I'm taking that back. I did start taking stuff back too. I'm like, no, nope, you know what? This is going back. And I do, you have to do it right away too, or I lose the receipt and this stuff's, you know, I don't remember where I bought it or what. That's why I go through my cart. I go through my cart and I literally, Sue, you are crack a -lack and I go through my cart before I even go through the checkout. Now I look and I'm like, what can I put back? I have to put some of this back. But I do got to go. I want to, I want, I got like a handful of things I have to do and I keep saying that. So thank you for coming. I love you all. I appreciate you watching. Happy Thursday and have a good day. Bye, y'all.